let's look at some mental math strategies for subtracting that will help build fluency. We're going to subtract 80 minus 56, and I'm going to use a number line to show what's going on. Subtraction can be thought of as a distance. I can change these numbers as long as I maintain the same distance. 60 is an easier number to subtract, so I'll maintain that distance by subtracting it from 84. The distance has not changed, but it's easier to calculate, and I get an answer of 24. Next, I'm going to use a similar strategy thinking about distance, but this time I change the problem to 79 minus 55. Same distance here, but I can do this mentally and get the answer of 24. Now let's look at a strategy called subtraction by parts. I'm going to first subtract 50 from 80 to get 30, and then I'll subtract the 6 to get 24. A similar strategy is subtracting left to right. First, we subtract 50 to get 30, and then we subtract 6 to get 24. I can move left to right as long as I understand place value. Now let's try adding up. Addition is the inverse of subtraction, so we can think about what do we need to add to 56 to get 80. First, I'll add 4 to get me to 60, and then I'll add 20 to get me to 80. I added a total of 24. The great thing about these strategies is that once students understand why they work, they can use them with all kinds of numbers. And unlike the standard algorithm, they have to think about number relationships as they use them, which builds their fluency.